Hi, my name is Jacob and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create a while loop in make.com because make uh, or Integroma doesn't support that feature for some reason and it is very important feature and I'll show you step by step how to do it. So I'll quickly explain you how my example looks like and it contains some repeater function and some posting to x.com. So basically for my other project that shows up on the screen. I created a um, automation system that posts on social media and one of the function was to post on x.com. Basically x, a free version, offers two posts when your post has less than 250 characters or something like that. So I had to create an automation that makes sure it is really less than 250 characters. If not, then it has to go back. And if yes, then it posts on x.com. So as you can see, about six minutes ago, I posted something like this. All of these posts are very similar because I was like, a, I was testing my function. If it works properly, it, work, it works perfect. So basically how we can start is I created a first variable in make. So I named it as a content. And this is a generated post about how AI is going to evolve, uh, blah, blah, blah. And my uh, assistant, ChatGPT, will work on that blog post. So important module in this function is a repeater. And repeater, as the name says, it will repeat whatever we want about how many times we want. So I created this as a one, but this number doesn't matter and repeats 10 times. So it will repeat 10 times unless something else happens, right? The other function, the other module is ChatGPT, and that is created in my OpenAI uh, playground. So this doesn't matter too much for you, but I just created this. So it just basically gets the content, it reads the blog post and, and makes a 250 character summary um, of this blog post. The problem is ChatGPT is not always 100% correct and we want to make sure 100% that every time it is going to post. So sometimes it will create the content that has more than 250, like 300 characters. And then it will give the error on x.com that the post can be done. So once this module exists, I connected it to the assistant from OpenAI Playground and the message is that content, that content you can see right here, uh, that blog post. Uh, it has this information, it processes, and then I have a small function that checks the length of the content created by uh, GPT. So it will basically check how many characters are returned from this uh, GPT. And now there is this router, and this router has two options, posting on X or not posting or uh, repeating the function again. So let's go through this array aggregator. And as a source module, we have to set the repeater. And that's basically the beginning of the function, that repeater. So basically what we have done so far, and as you can see on this grade line, is that it will repeat itself, it will check on the count. And if the content doesn't have, it has more than 250 characters, it will go back. And it will repeat this process over and over, not infinitely, it will repeat it as many times as we put here in the repeats. So yeah, it will try to repeat itself. So now we can find out when this function um, escapes from repeating itself. It will escape when we turn on this filter. And this is, uh, this is basically checking the number of the characters in here. So if the number is less than 250, that means this router will escape it will escape to something called HTTP module, which sounds complicated, but it's not at all. So, so you can find it in all of these apps when you search for HTTP. And this is this basic make a request, as you see right here, I'll just delete this. So as URL, we don't have to put anything special as we can put this uh, example link, method get, it doesn't really matter. We click save. And this is very important when you, we press right click on a mouse and we click on add error handler, we need to connect it right now to x.com. 
So why we create that error handler is because we don't want to send anything through HTTP. And there is basically no other way to uh, create that X module. It's like when we escape from the repeater, we go through HTTP, but we don't want to do anything in the HTTP. So instead it will pass on and it will open the X module. That's that's only way I found which is the best way to, to, to do something with the repeater. And now this is just easy. We set up an X module with, you can set it up with your own account. And as a text content, I passed that uh, a value from, from GPT that created something with less than 250 characters. And this is very important as well when we create a commit module that will stop the whole program. So that's basic, basically it. And let's just run the test. So I'll click on run once. This repeater starts. We can see this variable, how much it was. It was 200, 239 characters. And that means we can escape from this loop. We go through HTTP module, which doesn't do anything, which skips through right through x.com. And as I said, that's the only way I found that, that works very well. And from X, we just finished the, fi finish the program. And when I refresh my X account, you can see, you will see this post right here 45 seconds ago. And it's just uh, some random information about this blog post. And we can run it again. As you can see, GPT process the data, process the blog post. Let's see how many characters it created. 271, so still less than 280. So let's see how many characters it created in the first operation. 271, as you can see. So in assistant, as assistant, I used GPT for all, which is supposed to be other than O1, which is very expensive. This one's supposed to be um, quite cost effective and smart, but as you can see, it can make mistakes sometimes. And I actually realized I made a small mistake because x.com allows more, uh, less than 280 characters, not 50. And that's why my program didn't work that good uh, at some point. So let's just run it again and we will make sure that it creates less than 280 characters. So GPT is doing its job then it created something with 268 characters and as you can see it was posted on x.com and 21 seconds ago this blog was posted again and let's try it one more time and it's doing its job that's one as you can see right now it created something with 285 characters which is five characters too much now it, it's, it does the second thing again and then it did that operation second time. Now it's 273. And as you can see, it broke from the repeater and it went to x.com and posted that on x. And as you can see, again, 20 seconds, 26 seconds ago, um, the post was created. So that's basically how this function works. I didn't find any easier or better way which will allow to have like one or two modules max. So. Unfortunately, I don't know what's the reason the Mac don't want to allow while loop, probably because in normal programming, uh, while loops a lot of times break the programs and make them, if someone doesn't program it very well, they can, they can run forever basically. So that can cause a lot of problems, right? So this repeater is a safer option because you exactly have to put how many times you want this program to repeat basically. So I'm, I'm sure this is a, safer option than the norm, normal while loop. So if you're interested in the video similar to this, where I show some uh, cool tutorials with uh, AI and automation, please uh, leave a like and subscribe. And you can also post a comment if you have any questions or if you would like to add something interesting. So thank you so much for watching.